the rule? What's likely to happen? Sorry. I need to fix this. Let's do it. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just f fixing some stuff real quick. All right, let's watch. Our world is at war. Only the old can remember a time without fear, without bloodshed. Defeat followed victory. Victory followed defeat. No one could gain the decisive advantage. Only now is there an end in sight. Who would ever have thought that it would fall to someone like me, an old archaeologist, to put an end to this madness? And I didn't find the key to ending the war on one of my expeditions. Not deep in some dark dungeon, nor on the peak of a fiery mountain. No, I found it in an old book. I only hope that luck has not abandoned us. What's happened to Beetle with the arch mage's ring? Doesn't he know how... Then, you're MacGuffin, are you? Archaeologist, adventurer, and future trophy on my mother's living room wall. And you are Monkus, dastardly son of the Archwitch Mortroga. What do you want from me? I think you know that. Where is it? We know that your evil-minded servant is on the way to that damned magical trickster Alistair. I won't tell you anything. Take him away. Mother has ways and means of squeezing what we need to know out of him. After all, what's likely to happen? Oh, well. We're several days away from the Wildlands. It's just as safe here as in the Elf Borough. Oh, then, if it was locked up for them, I'd just be spending the whole day... Huh. One end of the rope is knotted tightly. I could use it to swing onto the other side of the leg. is fastened onto the dragon's harness. The old gremlin's in the cage. He hasn't noticed me yet. Hey, hello. You there? Who? Who are you? My name is... Never mind. There's something you have to do for me. What am I talking about? It's not just for me. It's for the Alliance. I've no particular interest in the Alliance. I don't care. This has to do with everyone. Professor McGuffin's the name. I'm an archaeologist. I oh, sorry. My mic was something muted. Something Oops. Important. And they want it? Oh, yeah, again, Hofer yeah. Show. How's it you going? No idea how much they Hope want. everyone's having a good day right now. All right. I'm here to set you planning, free. In the end, some knight in shining armor will come to our rescue. You may scoff, but they would have to skin me before I tell them what I know. Okay, then. I'll release you and let you mortals carry on playing at war. <laughs> no! We've got no time to lose. You, you must take this ring. Take it to the Archmage Alistair in the town of Seastock on the coast. He will send someone to my house, but 
book that describes where it is hidden is there in my secret cellar. We must get it to safety. And what about you? I will win you as much time as I can. I can endure torture for hours, days if need be. Oh my gosh. Pain, the humiliation, the agony of body and soul. So dramatic. Uh, I'm gonna come for Perhaps you. Perhaps I should just release you and we'll do without the pain and death part. That would, of course, also be an option. <laughs> dramatic, but... Just love the, love the conversation so far. How can I get you out of there? Good question. This cage is well built and the lock won't be easy to deal with. I could untie the cage and then it would smash when it hits the ground. Just like my old bones. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. On the way to Mortrogus Fortress, we'll fly over the White Ridge Mountains. Everything's covered in snow there, and the dragon will fly low over the peaks. We could try it there. That was a joke. The chances of that working are about a million to one. I can't see any other way to escape. Fighting is not an option. <sighs> Let me see how the cage is fastened. You do that. I'll be uh, here if you need me. Okay, Dobby. No idea what's going on here. But I should probably release the old gremlin before we get into enemy territory. We'll have to see how we go after that. All right, let's this investigate. The cage to the dragon. I have to undo it if I want to drop the cage onto the mountains. Oh, this is too tight. I won't be able to undo this just using my hands. But if I had a knife or a sword, I could perhaps cut the rope. Transport dragons can move great loads, like these barrels, wooden posts, and this big crate. I don't think that this stuff will help me a whole lot. Probably not. That's the way up into the dragon's back. I can't reach the support strut. All right, let's talk to him again. Hey, MacGuffin. What is it? That kidnapper with his troll. Who is he? The sorcerer. He's called Marcus. He's the son of the Archwitch Mortroga. The Arch Witch? How did she know that you've made such an important discovery? Beetle, my servant. I sent him on a secret mission to the Arch Mage. You must have caught him. Isn't it a trifle improbable that a 50 meter long dragon with a pathetically small wingspan could be physically capable of transporting such a substantial amount of gear? How should I know? I'm an archaeologist, not an aeronautical scientist concern myself with trivialities. I see it flying, so I believe it. I, however, find it illogical. Then it's magic. Then it must be magic. <laughs> hmm? If something isn't logical in this world, then it's always down to magic. Very practical. You can explain everything like that. If something's flying that can't fly, magic. Can we talk through this plan again, just to be sure? You come up with a way to release the cage. As soon as we're flying close to the ground in the White Ridge Mountains, you let me and the cage drop, and then jump yourself. Do you think you'll survive the impact? I hope so. The dragon will have to fly close to the mountain peaks. There are lots of pine trees and snowdrifts there. Yeah, yeah let's hope he survives. Rocks. Oh my god. Yes, yes, I know. But I've got to get back to my cottage and get the book from my cellar. They mustn't get their hands on it. All right. The cage has been secured with a thick rope. I can't release it using my bare hands. Then you'll have to cut through the rope. Splendid idea, but I don't have a knife. Then get your hands on one. The kidnappers up there are sure to be armed. I fear that could be true. If I'm going to steal a knife from the kidnappers, then I need to get onto the back of the dragon. There's a support strut there. If I could reach it, I'd be able to pull myself up. No problem. Here, take this. A whip? <laughs> it's always served me well. You can use it as a rope. It cracks me up that Dobby has a freaking whip, though. Yes, I call him Dobby. I said Dobby, but Dobby. Um, you'll find the whip just as all the other objects in the inventory. Move the mouse to the bottom of the edge of the screen to open the inventory. To examine an object in the inventory. Um, okay. I'll just carry on then. You wait here. You cut me off. All right, we're gonna do that and get up there. He 
is a do a dopey dopey. Still cracks me up that they brought Indiana yes, Jones into yes, this. I was evil and beastly. Smeagol. Yes, I, I'll bring him with me, mother. Yes, yes, yes. I, I have to go. Why? I'm steering a dragon. Remember? No, I'm not being cut with you. I, I, yes. Mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'll see you later. Love you too. Oh my god. Go how do I, I become a part of your stream team? Um, you yes. have to join the That's Discord the channel, That's and the then the afterwards I would send you a team invite. But you have to be careful, Bunkus. Gotta be a member of the um, GWOL. Everywhere. And you are talking to yourself. Better shut up. There are going to be some truth in the Gremlin story. It's vital that I rescue him. If I remain right here on the outside, then they won't be able to spot me from the driver's cabin. I could really do with one of those swords, but I can't reach the stand without the sorcerer seeing me. All right. An old cardboard box. It seems to be some kind of emergency kit if the dragon crash lands. There are a few moth-eaten blankets in the box. A bit of dried meat covered in white mold, and a so gross. Potion, and oh my God, hmm, a line with a fish hook. It looks quite serviceable. I'll take it with me. A thin wooden stick with the flag of the shadow on it. The stick's been tied loosely to the railing. Got it, and the sorcerer hasn't noticed. Awesome. Alright, you can combine objects in the inventory by selecting an object, clicking with it with another object. So we're gonna take the stick. I'll knock the line to the tip of the, the rope. stick and hey presto, I've got a fishing rod. But yeah, after I'm done streaming, I'll go ahead and send you a team invite. Alright, fishing rod on the sword. Yay! Got the sword. Time to tell him we got hey, the sword. Got what is it? So what is this discovery of yours then? A great treasure? A weapon? I can't tell you. Too dangerous. And actually, well, I don't have it either. What do you mean? I found a clue in an old book as to where the artifact... Where it is hidden. Artifact? It? This is getting more and more cliché. <laughs> cliché? A struggle of good against evil is never cliché. You mentioned your secret cellar. Is that where the book's hidden? Pretty risky. I've got a sword and can cut through the rope as soon as you're ready. Fine. I'm ready when you are. We're over the mountains. It's now or never. Here goes nothing. I am. But if I don't survive or they catch me, then you'll have to fetch the book from my secret cellar and take it to the Archmage. All right, then. You mean, if you die, the young, sexy elf will become the hero of the story rather than an old, disheveled gremlin. How improbable. Don't <laughs> talk. Just cut me free. Oh, my God. The right moment is close. There's the mountain. Good luck, MacGuffin.
Uh, Wilbur, working hard at it, saving the world. I, I'm, I'm almost done, you. Yeah? Oh, that's so, so cute. Beavering away, eh? <laughs> like, even though gra say? the graphics are older for this game, this it's, one of those it's so cute. Funny little mages I really there, like eh? it. <laughs> like, even a the hero. cinematics and I've stuff are adorable. A quest. Send my new house robot off on a rat hunt. Uh. That rat's got an end for my precious hops. It's a and rat. If I don't plant them, beer's going to be a wee bit scarce. I've never heard of a hero having to catch rats. You're not a hero yet, laddie. You're still my helper. <laughs> and that being the case, you'd better get your act together. Then you can finish up here and go and have some more heroic daydreams. <laughs> That's I funny. need to go and do a quality control check on barrels 2034 to 2038. Well, I've got a feeling there might be something wrong with the 2030 batch. We'll see. We'll see. Hello, rat. A thieving rat. Devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. That seems to be the rat hole where the little beast plans its raids. A dwarf-sized crowbar. So it's pretty big. The pipes run through the walls and floor. They are part of the central beer supply system, which runs through the whole bastion. All right, let's get the crowbar. Let's look at the chair. That's the master brewer's favorite spot. He likes to relax there in the evenings. Aww. It's a map. It says the country's best pubs on it. It shows the area reaching from our beautiful White Ridge Mountains down to the sea, where the humans live on the coast. The humans. The humans! Dwarfs are excellent stonemasons. That fireplace is proof. A large crate. It must have been delivered as I, um, I swept. <laughs> That's the exit, but I can't call it a day yet. First, I have to teach right. the house robot to catch rats. So, can I go? Alright, to the kitchen? To the kitchen! Whoa. Let's still look at it. says these kettles are used to make beer. This is his private setup, and the proper ones are in the cellar. That is the Bastion's emblem. Actually, an entire battalion of dwarves is supposed to be stationed here. That's cool. Each battalion consists of seven companies, which in turn consists of seven platoons. That's a lot Each of dwarves. Each platoon consists of seven squads of seven dwarves. Oh my god. Dwarves have this thing for the number seven. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a, it's a lucky number. <laughs> the rubbish bin is almost overflowing. Presumably, it's my job to empty it, but... <laughs> oh well. Presumably. This pump can be used uh, to pump blazing water from dragons? I don't I think I have. I haven't played it, so not sure. I thought so. Broken. The dwarves have a lot of work ahead of them when they get back. If they come back. Can I use the crowbar on this? No. Dwarven fast food. <laughs> hungry. Dwarven fast food. The sun is pretty low. It'll be dark soon. I call it A History of Dwarven Cuisine, The Last Three Weeks by Wilbur Weathervane. Oh my god. It's been there for three weeks. Ugh. That's pretty gross. But what kind of game is A it? A very roughly knotted net with loose ends. Maybe it's used for fruit. Although I've never seen any fruit around here, the master brewer prefers heartier fare. Thanks for the tweet. <laughs> a tin coffee pot. It hasn't been used in ages. And guaranteed not for coffee. The master brewer doesn't trust non-alcoholic drinks. <laughs> so all they drink is alcohol. Hmm. The coals in the oven have kept the stove warm. It's like this. You are a dragon and the evil humans are trying to take over the castle. Interesting. The stove isn't used much. So this morning, the master brewer heated up a few beer sausages on it. Yeah, I haven't played that before. A pile of dirty dishes. 
The longer the other dwarves are away, the less attention the master brewer pays to things like this. An old, rather dirty cooking pot. Gotcha. Alright, so... I can pick that up. Ah, mutant slime. Ew. Maybe I should have thrown out the rest of that chocolate pudding. That was chocolate pudding? There is no way I'm taking that pot with the evil slime in it. Slime can be really evil. Bad slime. That's gross. Alright, can I use the net? I'm not likely to be able to catch the slime with the net. It's too slimy. Oh, let's there use is that. no way I'm taking that pot with the evil slime in it. Slime can be really evil. Bad slime. There is no way I'm taking that pot with the evil slime can be really evil. Bad slime. Um rubbish. It was written by Terry Jones, Gavin Scott, they're from Monty Python. Oh nice. So there is no way I'm taking that pot with the evil slime in it. Slime can be really evil. Bad slime. Alright, well, I guess I'm leaving that there for now. So, where is... Let's see. Is this the robot? Not a chance. I'll never oh. get this crate open with my bare hands. All right, let's use the crowbar. Let's see. You can't trust evil slime. <laughs> nope. There's the robot. What's that? Ah, the user manual. Let's start reading. Wood elvish. <laughs> Dragon's quest. Succubusish. Oh my god. Here we are. Dwarven. <laughs> Thank you for purchasing an X100 house robot, the latest in house robot technology. Okay. Feed the X100 the stinking remains of your disgusting existence. <laughs> but absolutely no broccoli or Brussels sprouts. Oh my god. Hmm. Rats. There. Rat kill. Rats breeding. Ah, rat hunting. Rat hunting. In order to hunt rats or vermin of any kind, you must first feed the X100 with DNA from your target. So I have to find rat poop DNA or something? DNA carriers include hair, blood, sweat, snot, and uh, other things. Alright. Okay, so first I have to give the robot a little garbage appetizer to start it up before I feed it the main course, rat DNA. Alright. Finally. A simple rat trap. Mm. Let's see how it likes this. Aha! It works. Cool. The robot is already chock full of disgusting leftovers. It can't hold anymore. Other things. Besides, oh, it's Brian, already why running. did you think about that one? Knows. All right, so I need. Ugh! It looks like the X100 really liked that rubbish. At least it's purring Don't like ask, a cat. Don't ask, just let it happen. No, I oh just my have god! To get it to hunt like one. I need rat something. A thieving rat, devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. Can I get something out of its hole? The rat has chewed through the wood. There's some fur hanging from a splinter. There we go. Ooh, I'll take that. So, how does loot help you get tips? Um, basically, you as a viewer can go to loots.com slash mega and tip me for free. And what happens then is an advertiser will actually uh, pay me in order to host one of their advertisements. So after you tip me, um, an advertisement is going to pop up on my stream for a game. And... This way, I get paid by the advertiser, and you don't have to pay a penny, basically. Hey, Ship Street, how's it going? And now the fur. A source of rat DNA. Thanks for the host. <laughs> it's going after the rat, oh my gosh. 
That's awesome. Get that chair quicker. Yeah, exactly. And it's gone. It won't be back anytime soon either. Problem solved. Yay! I got the rat. <laughs> the X100 makes a pretty good rat hunter. I just hope it never mistakes me for a rat. All right, let's go ahead and talk to him now. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hi, I Wilbur. Did you know there's an evil slime living in a pot in the kitchen? Oh, yes, it nicked a sausage off me this morning. Oh, my God. Well, doesn't that bother you? Tired? Aw, well, oh, shit. Yes. I'm sorry. Live and let live, I say. As long as it doesn't develop a taste for beer. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Is everything okay with the beer? That's not so easy to say. It's complicated with beer. You initially think, mm, that tastes good. But then, bam, the finish is all off. Earthy and musty, and there's nothing you can do. But of course, you can't really tell from just one pint. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> uh, it's really delayed. I heard it beep, but it's not showing up on my stream. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Hunting rats while your epic adventure is starting now. But yeah, see, Dougley, that's what happens um, if you submit a tip. The rat's gone. I saw. It's amazing what you little gnomes can puzzle out, eh? <laughs> the rat's lost his appetite for my hops at any rate. He yeah, it's a really awesome a system. <laughs> This way viewers can, can tip their then? streamers without having to spend Take any home, money, lad. and it See supports them. Where are the other dwarves, anyway? All the way fighting, you know that. There's been nobody here except me for years. I'm keeping the whole place ticking over. If you weren't here, lad, I'd probably have pegged it from loneliness long so ago. a few <laughs> cents per pop-up. Well, I can't really discuss how much I get paid. It's actually in the contract. But it's based on how many viewers are in the channel when the ad pops up. What's the news from the front? The Alliance is winning, isn't it? It's a proper mess. They just swing back and forth. It's been like that for years. Neither side has the advantage. Today, we take Finsterberg, and tomorrow, the Shadow Army... So, more viewers, Anaheim. faster chair. Today, we take we add it to your total. Twitter, and tomorrow, they nobble Bella Sunnythor. Yes, so basically, the, the more moment, viewers in chat when it pops up, um, the, the more... Not getting um, anywhere fast, though. They pay, basically. The, years before the more revenue. The upper hand. Hopefully, we do. I let's hope so. <laughs> But yes, <laughs> I really need a new chair. Do you miss the other dwarves a lot? Uh, My chair is pretty much, much dead. Going on here now, that's for sure. In the old and days, no, it it does not add to night. the total because Stone it's a different site. That ticker the on the stream is from Stream <laughs> Jar. And then, of course, there was Bellant. But once I actually get a total and from loot, I would here. add it to the ticker. You're not exactly a party animal. Maybe the other dwarves will come back soon. Because I can manually Aye, edit and then the ticker tell as the well. Tales of adventure, the times they've had and what they've been through. And me, I can only listen on. I'd like to hear their stories, seeing as though I'm not with them myself. Bye. See you later, lad. <laughs> <laughs> 